ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ திஸ் இஸ் பார்ட் த்ரீ வீடியோ ஆன் சொல்யூஷன் டு கர்நாடகா டிடி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொஷன் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் தி இயர் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஒன் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் வாட்ச்டு மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஆன் சொல்யூஷன் டு கர்நாடகா டிடி மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொஷன் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் ட்வெண்ட்டி you can watch the videos by clicking on the i button appearing on your screen question number 101 the median and mode of a frequency distribution are 28 and 16 respectively then the value of mean is option 1 22 option 2 23.5 option 3 34 option 4 24.5 we have a formula 3 median is equal to 2 mean plus mode so using this particular formula we will solve this particular question so this formula is very very important so now they have given median and mode median is 28 and mode is 16 they have asked us to find the mean we will just rearrange this equation so as to write what is mean so mean is equal to 3 median minus mode divided by 2 so median is given so 3 into median is 28 mode is also given it is 16 divided by 2 84 minus 16 divided by 2 This is equal to sixty-eight divided by two, which is thirty-four. So therefore, the mean is thirty-four, and the right answer here is option three, thirty-four. Question number one zero two: Three coins are tossed simultaneously. The probability of getting exactly two heads is option one, one by two; option two, one by four; option three, three by eight; option four, three by four. first we will write the total outcomes what we are going to get when three coins are tossed so whenever we toss a coin either we get head or tail now we will write the possibility of tossing three coins okay so one probability we get is all the three coins will be having head 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 and all the three coins might have tails okay first two coins might have head and the third one might be tail first one might be head next one might be tail and one more might be head so tail head head also we can get the other uh, possibility is that first two coins might be tail and one more third coin might be head first might be tail and next might be head and one more might be tail first coin might be head and next two coin might be tail so these are the total possibilities that you can get when you toss three coins simultaneously so we have totally 2 4 6 and 8 so eight total outcomes are there when you toss coins now they have asked us to find the probability of getting exactly two heads we'll check where we have exactly two heads so first is all the three are heads we need just two heads so here the third is two head fifth one is also having a possibility of getting two heads and also here so two heads and one tail so these are the three possibilities that we get exactly two heads so there are three possibilities of getting two heads out of the total possible eight outcomes so the probability of getting exactly two heads is 3 by 8 so therefore the right answer here is option 3 3 by 8 question number 103 the diagonals of a rectangle abcd are intersecting at o if angle boc is 44 then angle oad is option 144 option 268 degree option 352 degree option 440 degree so they have given angle boc 
which is 44 degree we are asked to find angle OAD means this angle we have to find let me denote this angle as X so we need to find what is X angle BOC is given as 44 degree so here we have angle DOA so means this angle so angle BOC is equal to angle AOD and these both are equal to 44 degree it is because they are vertically opposite angles so now we have found out angle AOD it is 44 degree we know the property of rectangle that its diagonals bisects each other and the diagonal are equal diagonals of a rectangle are equal so it means that AO is equal to OD and OC is equal to OB so diagonals are equal and diagonals bisect each other so if you consider the triangle AOD in this triangle AOD we have this angle AOD as 44 degree and this A I have denoted it as X that is what we have to find and we have the side AO which is equal to OD so when two sides of a triangle are equal that is isosceles triangle means that two angles which are the same side are equal so now here in this particular triangle sum of all the angles angle A plus angle D plus angle O is equal to 180 degree I'll just rewrite the things so in triangle AOD we have angle DAO sum of angle DAO angle AOD and angle ODA it's nothing but it is 180 degree sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree so I told you since this is isosceles triangle the two angles are equal so DAO is X AOD is 44 degree and ODA is X which is equal to 180 degree so we have 2X is equal to 180 degree minus 44 degree which is equal to 136 degree so x is 136 divided by 2 and this is equal to 68 degree question number 104 the angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13 the biggest angle of the quadrilateral is option 1 166 degree option 2 150 degree option 3 136 degree option 4 156 degree so here let me consider the angle as x so then i can write the four angles as 3x 5x 9x and 13x so among the four angles the biggest angle is 13x so we need to find what is 13x so before finding what is 13x we need to find what is x so we know that the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree applying that concept I can write 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x is equal to 360 degree adding all the four angles 3x plus 5x plus 9x plus 13x the sum is 30x which is equal to 360 degree so x is 360 degree divided by 30 and the value of x is 12 degree now they have asked us to find the biggest angle of the quadrilateral i told you the biggest angle is 13x so we have found the value of x is 12 so we need to find 13 into 12 
156 degree. Therefore, the right answer here is option 4, 156 degree. Question number 105. The circumference of the base of a cylinder is 44 centimeter and height is 20 centimeter. Then the lateral surface area is option 1, 440 square centimeter, option 2, 880 square centimeter, option 3, 88 square centimeter, option 4, 44 square centimeter. The lateral surface area of cylinder is given by the formula 2 pi r into h where r is radius of the base and h is height. So in the question they have given circumference of the base. Circumference is 44 centimeter given. Height they have given it as 20 centimeter. We know circumference is given by the formula 2 pi r which is equal to 44. So we need to find what is r. It is 44 divided by 2 pi. So we will substitute the value of pi as 22 by 7. So this is 44 into 2 to 22 by 7 can be written like this. Simplifying this we get radius as 7 centimeter. Now we have radius as well as height. Then we can calculate the lateral surface area using the formula 2 pi rh. So 2 into pi is 22 by 7 into r is 7 and height is 20. So simplifying this 44 into 20. So 880 square centimeter is the lateral surface area of the given cylinder. So therefore the right answer here is option 2. 880 square centimeter. I will stop the video here. Remaining questions will be solved in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel for more updates.